Okay, in Kulta, that is the Losers Finals map. Yeah, thanks Blast for pointing out the Dominatrix thing. Anyway, we have... No, I should prefer Snuggle Base. I think Snuggle Base is a better name. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I think they were also, wise in changing the name. Originally thought of Snuggle Bass, like a cuddly... Cuddly fish? Fish, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Which is a very friendly image See, I was to thinking me. sort of like a cuddly cello. I think <laughs> that works too. I like them both. You, you like a cuddly cello made out of fish? Perfect. Okay. Order three. It will smell a bit. <laughs> but I have a very warm tone. <laughs> yes, very, very fleshy. <laughs> it resonates well. <laughs> oh, you can play scales with it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I had that's to. that's fine. You just win. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle base is flaccid. Or was flaccid. Mm -hmm. But now they're no longer flaccid. Which is good. I'm glad. The pills did their job. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be Golda and Google Frog. Yeah, exciting. Best of Is this a best of one or is this going to be best of three? This is best of three. I requested oh, okay. that it's best of three because generally speaking... <laughs> Detrino. That's a bit personal. Yes, but it's true. <laughs> they're no longer flaccid. They were very public about the fact that they were flaccid. And now they don't Very are. open with it, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's that was their name. Oh. Anyway, so I, like I said, I requested that the Losers Finals, I know it says semifinals, ignore that, Losers Finals be best of three, because mm -hmm. generally speaking, Losers Finals is best of three, and I kind of fish, the snuggly fish made out of cellos. Anyway, usually <laughs> a wooden fish. Or a particle board fish, I guess. Anyway. So, yeah, I requested it as best of three because I figured it'd be kind of... It's kind of like a bronze match. It is yeah. the bronze match, actually. Yeah, I think that, that all makes sense. I would definitely agree with that. It's just that because double elimination works the way it does, it's the bronze match as a natural consequence. You have to do it before the grand finals rather than just out of the way and people go, oh, why do the bronze match? Who cares about the bronze match? The bronze match is just... It, it's just third place. It's, it's not relevant. Like, no, <laughs> we do bronze match. Yeah, I love the bronze match. But then again, semifinal or losers finals, there's no choice. You have to do losers finals. Yep. And yep. yet, hey Timo Timo. Yes, the stream is still up. It's only been three hours. This has been like, <laughs> the shortest tournament. Like, okay, admittedly, there was only nine people. Yeah. Although, to be fair, there were no drops. There was only it was one surrender and one substitute, but there were no outright drops. Yeah, that's true. That was nice. But yeah, it was like nine people. Okay, so that's kind of short. But even then, it's still been a relatively short tournament. Mind you, there's been a lot of one-sided matches, but then again, the Losers' Finals also basically went through without any issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to the pre-finals, which means that it was a little bit slow, but it wasn't that slow. I expected that, in general, you'd have one extra round, because normally I'd be casting like four rounds at the end, and now I only request three, which mm -hmm. I think you have to anyway. And... Then there's one round at the beginning because the losers round one can only start once the winners round one happens. Right. So where is where's Golda? Oh. So we're about to get that started. Cool. Ah, oh, Timo, Timo, you could have participated. Ah oh, man. Oh. It's a bummer. This was such a great tournament. Like the structure of it was so it was the most newbie friendly tournament. Told ya. So far. Yes. As I <laughs> as I asserted. As I previously asserted, this would work. Yeah. Yep. It was really uh just a shame that we didn't see more novices sign up. I was looking back at the January bracket and uh, there's a lot of people that are missing here from this March tournament that I really thought yeah. we would see. Yeah. Well, I that's why I suggested double elimination even then. Mm -hmm. I've actually mm -hmm. been pushing double elimination for a while now. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot better. Me too. But then again, like I said, I was the advocate for it. <laughs> Especially when people started going about random start positions. I thought, oh, crap. Because yeah. I'm actually on the fence about random start positions, but I think random plus double elimination works well. Yeah. But only with double elimination. Exactly. And even then, you only know for sure the top two players. Because... If you think about the way it goes, 
randomly speaking, like, if it's random, whoever is in winners is, like, that you know that they're the best, and whoever win, whoever gets second, you know that they're second best because they were the best of all the people who weren't the best. Because everyone who was mm -hmm. the best either lost to the best player or lost to someone who lost to the best player. But okay, yeah. the person who is in losers, if they win, they've beaten everyone else or beaten people who beat them. So mm -hmm. ultimately, we're assuming skills transitive here. So sure. ultimately, you know one and two, but three you don't know. Three could be anywhere from the actual number three to the second or to like the midway point. Because it could be just the person who could be like set up so that the best player is knocked out right at the start mm -hmm. and then runs through and takes out everyone gets second. But yeah. then it could also be that those best players, they only get at the end. And so like you have all the good players on one side of the bracket, all the good players knocking each other out. And the like the worst possible player who'd still get far enough on the other side of the bracket always and mm -hmm. so they're basically up to the end i think yeah. i might have miscalculated but i'm pretty sure it's basically the number of players over two rounded up okay why is this not starting um uh, not sure game's actually just started here okay get him to wait i don't know why it's not it's oh, okay it's not starting for some reason it's unit syncing or something uh um Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, sorry cool. about that. But yeah, I'm not in yet. Just, just let me know. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like hovercraft and uh, light vehicle. Oh, they're pausing for you now. Okay, thank you. Good. Sweetheart. Right. Go to nice uh, such a nice guy. Go to is a nice guy. Okay, so we are in. Oh, I didn't quite set up properly. Okay, now we're in. Good. Unpause, please. I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Beautiful. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Koda was on the stream. What? Yeah, it was just a mistake, I'm sure. I hope so. I don't really really do. feel like Goda needs to stream snipe. I don't think so either. I think that's a little bit bad for me. You have to turn off stream. Oops. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just turn it off. Anyway, Goda is... I mean, the thing is, you can't really act on that information. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, we can see everything. It's not... We we have an easy way of knowing. It's not like... It's not like it's like tech choices or something that's going to be that hard to find out. But, it, I mean, occasionally, yes. But oftentimes it's positions that's more important. And those are going to be... If you take advantage of that information, it's like, okay, that's not just a hard read. Anyway, we're on Inculta, which may look familiar. It's just that it's been drained. <laughs> we're on the dry version of Inculta, not the flooded version of Inculta. But otherwise, right. it's the same map. So I've got to ask you, what's the logic behind Hovercraft here? Especially against Gota. Against Gota? Mm-hmm. I don't I'm just I don't... Gota would go for Hovercraft. That's the weird part. Oh, no, 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 no. Google Frog uh, went for Hovercraft. I know, I know. That's what I'm thinking is, like, against Gota. Yeah. Well, let's see. So I, I guess... think Google Frog expected Gota to go for Hovercraft and figured that the best counter was to fight fire with fire. Amir. Interesting. I was that's thinking maybe... Guess. He was expecting light vehicles and wanted daggers for the Scorchers. Maybe. That's a risky thing to do, though. Like, mm. it's very micro-intensive to pull that off. That's and once true. you get about five or six daggers, it isn't. You have critical mass. Sure. But before then, it is kind of risky. And also, Gold has been going for a lot of slasher play. Everyone's been going for slasher play this game. That's what we're seeing here. It looks like or at least the first two military units. Yeah, and that's not going to work out too well. Like, slashers don't get killed by daggers. They just don't. Yeah, these daggers are so fragile. So I could see halberds, because halberds are great for just breaking mm, through yep. anything. Halberds yeah, and I don't know if we'll see anything like maces or scalpels. Scalpels I do quite like, and I could see them working out quite well against light vehicles, especially against slashers. They'd rip slashers to shreds. Halberds as mm. well, both of them. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's probably just a lot of uh, counter light vehicle play that you can do with the hovercraft factory. That explains it a bit. That'd be my guess. I think halberds probably are the best choice, though, given they have a good combination of speed and defensiveness. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I like to use halberds as a little bit of a rating force in the late game, just because they're so mobile. Mm -hmm. Be interesting yeah. to see how uh, Google Frog uses them here. Yeah, I actually won a game doing that the other day. That was the yeah. F one of the FP bots I did. Well, they're so tanky. Like hull. Yep. And they're well, fast. Actually, both me and Ionios were using those, but I ended up winning out. Mm. But yeah, it was still a pretty good game. 
Anyway, Google Frog is... Well... Not really able to get far in. I'm not sure why they're still focusing on daggers. I, I mean, think he might be trying to build up the critical mass and then with that maybe just move through and clear out lines of slashes as they build up. I don't know. It looks like they're used for information. That's about it. Yeah. For the most part, it just has That's a about all they're doing. And Dart almost gets the kill in the second mech. Killed one for free. Uh, that's, that's always nice to pick iffy. up. Yeah. Always nice. And Google Frog right now, slightly behind economically. Gorda not really expanding explosively. They have a few Masons. They could actually start doing... Oh, they have five Masons. So wow. they're, they're going to pick up the pace pretty quick. As mm -hmm. opposed to four Quills. So... Relatively even economically, not surprising. This is going to probably go to consolidation phase. It's probably not going to stay in Rager phase for that long. But that'll still take probably about five minutes from now before we start seeing everything filled up and then trying to work out lines and trying to break lines. A couple of halberds coming out from Google Frog now. <laughs> there we go. I was waiting for that. Beautiful. Only two, though. They aren't on repeat queue. Well, he's probably just building a couple to bust down whatever uh, defenses he encounters. Then he can run the daggers in behind them. Since the daggers are usually pretty bad at taking out stack defenses. Yeah, that and the fact that there are eight daggers now. So there's your critical mm -hmm. mass. Yep. Yeah, against slashers, that'll work. Because it's like 100 damage each. So that slasher is dead. That mech is dead. The commander is not exactly dead, but it's a battle comm, so good luck with that. Like 25 daggers before you kill it. <laughs> or maybe 12. Like a dozen daggers would kill it in two volleys. But the halberd definitely helps there. Although, very forward commander, and it's unmorphed, too. Google mm -hmm. Frog not changing... Sorry, Golda not changing that. Google Frog, on the other hand, their commander is... Over here. And their commander is currently unmorphed as well, as a strike on. But, unfortunately for Go Google Frog, Golda does have the unit set up very well. The slashers are set up perfectly to deal with this. I mean, they're going to lose maybe one. Maybe. Yeah, not even. Not even one. Wow. Yep. Excellent. 10 health left, but it does not die. <laughs> Quite the defense. And then uh, just tons of daggers still from Google Frog, so he's really committed to this so far. Well, dagger, Halberd. It's No, just dagger. Yeah, you're right. And pure slasher from Golda because, well, it's working. Yeah. I mean, sure, why not? Go with it. Although the Halberd of... could be a problem. Yeah, he'll have a oh, harder time. Oh, the daggers were here. Halberds. The daggers need to be here. Those Halberds, they shouldn't attack. Yeah. They need some backup. I mean, okay, good. They killed that slasher, so that's that's useful. But still, it's just distraction. That's what they're for at this point. I mean, I suppose to get in far enough. Yeah, it does deal damage, but distraction. Mm -hmm. Distract the slashers, force them back. Okay, now you can attack because now they're forced back. If you can hit. Okay, there we go. The hero slasher that lived a ton health <laughs> finally dies. And the defenses have partially been broken, but we're into scorchers, and Ooh, this is where it's going to be problematic. Dagger, yep. It's going to be tough. It's all about the critical mass here. If the uh, daggers can ball up enough to get enough line splash, they can take out quite a few Scorchers Which at once. But they're, They might? They might, but if they're caught out of position, they get whittled down pretty easily as well. And that's what's happening. Very that's much of a... Definitely Ooh, oh, no, not quite. No, they actually are in a ball up. The Lotus didn't quite kill them. Although that Lotus is still a threat. Fortunate. Uh, yeah, the daggers are down. definitely need to get away from the LLT. See, that's, that's why I don't like playing daggers, or at least heavy daggers early on, because they're so weak against LLTs, I feel like. And these daggers getting stuck, unfortunately, the pathfinding not working for them. Ah, That's not hmm. what we want to see. They want to move out. Ugh. And they got stuck on each other. I, see, I thought the pathfinding was better in 92 and up. Uh, it feels better. I mean, I'm sure it's not perfect. Yeah. This vehicle pathing is always a little weird because of the turn radius. Yeah. It's almost like one of those things. I almost, I'm always a little bit surprised that Hovercraft doesn't use... Like, sort of bot pathing or something where its facing is determined by its location, but its movement is omnidirectional. But it still doesn't, it, it still can't go up hills. It just, it can slide. It can strafe. I don't know. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's, that's been suggested before. I don't know if that's even possible or if it's desirable. I have no idea. Be a differentiator for sure, but I don't know how well it would work. It would definitely help with the pathing issue. Air switch from Google Frog here. Ah, yeah. Good call. We do wow, see that setting up, but... Pouring all of his metal into it. A few bombers coming out. Uh, yeah, that's the right call, right? Against these slashers. They're really bombable units, aren't they? I would say it depends entirely on where those slashers are positioned relative to each other. Yeah. Enough slashers, and it doesn't matter what you're doing. But yeah, it doesn't look point. like that's happening. Gold does not have the slashers positioned in such a way that 
a raven wouldn't be able to get through and smash into pieces. This is a really se secure perimeter from Goda with the way he's lined up his slashers. He's, it looks like he's just basically trying to stake out half of the map vertically here. Well, that's what I mean. Consolidation phase. You want to have sure. your half. They have their half. They can't really raid you out because every time they try, they get stymied by defenses. That's it. Oh. Uh. But on the other hand, there are there are the slashers, and now we have, I think, a critical mass of slashers. I don't know if Ravens can get in. The dagger's going to try, though. The daggers have a bit of a better chance. They are going to cross the T. We're trying to, at least. The flank didn't quite work out. Yeah, as well as they worked in the earlier engagements, that, I mean, with such a huge ball of slashers, I don't feel like even a dagger could get anywhere near them. No, I didn't. I think a Phoenix would be the best bet, I think, at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It's a weird, it's a weird choice, but they only have 500 health, or mm -hmm. a little under 600 health. So a Phoenix in this position would just no, burn them I, yeah. down. I think that would do it. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Google oh, we're not really he building much air. Heavy Halberd instead, which is another good option to deal with it, I think. Yeah, that's true. Heavy Halberd is just a little bit risky because of the fact that Scorchers can tear it apart once they start attacking. Like they get one yeah. shot in, and then it's death. That's a good point. Wow, these halberds are going down so fast once they get into that ball of slashers. Like I said. Oh, oh boy. Nice. nice. Nailed the commander inside nice there. That off. was a good, that was a very good pick off. Wow. I didn't even, I barely even noticed that. That was impressive, but is it going to turn things around here? There's a lot of momentum for Goda. And that he's really is going to help. These, Look at yeah. all the health in these slashers. Like that was the biggest thing is the burst of the, the commander damage. Hit yeah. all this map. It hit all the slashers. It weakened the entire line. Mm -hmm. so now, now these daggers can come through and clean up. Plus the halberds here. Oh boy! And yeah, the critical mass is gone. Wow! Look at that. So smashing the commander was a great move. And not only that, Google Frog now secured the economic advantage, partly because of that, and partly because of the lack of build power on Goda's on Goda's part. They can't repair. They mm -hmm. can't really build up easily without workers. And wow, okay, now at this, at this point, we're dealing with donating metal. <laughs> Google Frog is going for a proxy tank factory, like right here in the middle of the map, right outside of these slashers. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. So he's going to build that's this stinger. Not going to so work. He's trying to hold off the slashers. That's not going to work. That's going to fall apart. Even yeah, with two this, stingers, this is this is not going to hold. This factory's got to go down, right? I mean, I just can't see this holding. I think he's I mean, the daggers going to try for... flanking. Oh, not not a bad position of the daggers, but it's not enough. Oh wow. Oh, maybe the there are daggers doing all right. With reinforcements, there might be a way. Oh, here comes. Uh, I see a thunderbird on its way towards the center. Uh, okay, yeah, that's going to hit the will slashers. solidify it. Oh boy. That's that's it. Going to drive him back. Really nicely done. Look at that. No one's going to kill them. <laughs> They're all <laughs> stunned. Or disarmed, rather. That works for me. I think, uh, I think we're probably going to see Reapers coming out of this tank factory to deal with the slashers. Tank That's, I mean, just my though. prediction. Google Frog's commander is... Okay, there we go. It's getting stuck for a second. That didn't quite work out as well as I'm sure they would want it to. But then again, they still have the Thunderbird. It has recharged. It is ready that's for right. another pass. And it bought them some time, which is really important in this position. I think that's all they needed. Yep. Five seconds left. The tank factory's done. That's Thunderbird. Yep. If it weren't for the and Thunderbird, I think they would have lost coming it. Out of it. Perfect. Uh, I mean, Reapers and, oh, just tear slashes hey, apart. Phoenixes. Phoenixes and are Phoenixes? coming. Beautiful. And oh, Google Frog Reapers are coming to deal really with them. Well. A lesser player would uh, probably buckle under this many slashes at his doorstep, but this is an excellent hold so far. I think he might be able to yeah. break out of it. Well, the one thing I could, I'm a bit concerned about, of course, is where they position that, because that's, Napalm Bombers are not that strong. And they didn't hit the right points. I, like the, it's, They don't know exactly where the best points are, I guess, because they... Sure. No, they do. They hmm. do know where all the slashes are. I'm not sure why they attacked where they did. Maybe it's just too much of a risk to attack such a... That's High a good point. Of slashers. Yeah, because we they saw that. They stun them out first, though. Yeah, yeah. If they stun them out first, then they can napalm them pretty much. No problems. Building up a pretty large mass of daggers here as well. And you were right about the Reapers, for sure. Tanking that out. And how many daggers are there? 26 daggers so far. Not a bad group. I think against... How many slashers are there? Okay. He's heading out south. Oh, there slashers. was a gunship switch from Goda, too. Ra oh, yeah, Rapiers coming in. Yeah, the Rapiers I mentioned briefly. They're dealing with... Basically, to deal with whatever they need to deal with. But nice. these daggers, that's that's going to be tough. We south, are, looks like he's trying to drag Goda's momentum down to the south to relieve some pressure from the factory, maybe? Which is not actually that bad of an idea. It's actually working decently well. The rapiers have gone away. And this reaper's doing great to drive off any slashes that come into range. I think Gold is confident that they can take out these daggers with what they have at the south, though. Yeah, definitely and once this I, swarm They're going to lose stuff, in. but I think I think they have a point. Although, Go Google Frog not going for the straight assault. Pulling back. I think that was the right call. 
Yeah, they got some good raids. They got some good metal extractor kills. They're still ahead economically, but they don't want to donate metal. Like, especially, wow, this reclaim field. I know, I was just looking 4, at that. 4,000 reclaim. Wow. Three caretakers for Golda. If, if this is burned out, if this is destroyed, that's most of Golda's economy at this point. Like, they have yeah, 30 right. metal per second off these. Actually, you know, 35 metal per second from this reclaim. Good time for some napalm bombers. Yeah, it. it bit of a shame Google Fox doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, well, that would have been nice to have. So these wow. rakers, holy crap! Just tearing apart the southern position. So tanky. Look at them taking out all these defenders. Yeah. Also, the nice to have list. Swifts. Yeah. <laughs> this points. Yep. Uh, Although it looks like Google Frog going for the same reclaim that Golda is, so not letting it completely go to waste. Oh yeah, this reclaim their field opponent. is huge. I mean, probably makes or breaks the game depending on who controls it. Four thousand metal. I'd say yes. Yeah. It definitely does. That is a huge amount of metal. And another Thunderbird. Great positioning in the Thunderbird. Excellent. And here are the Reapers coming in to clean up behind it. Yep, there we go. So Google Frog has taken the reclaim field. Wow, look at that combo. Look at all these constructors out here from Google Frog 2 to just suck oh, up this yeah. reclaim. I don't even I can't even I'm not even sure how many there are. There's plus over a dozen. 102 metal per second. Yeah, at the at the top. But even then it's sure. all an average about plus forty or so. Just from if, that. Even if he excesses a ton of that, just depriving Gota from taking that is is a big win. Yep, and with the, wow. I actually went for Cobras. Or Copperheads, I mean. Huh. Cobras on wheels. That's surprising. Ooh, boy. But look at Gota swarming yeah. in on this position now. All or nothing. Gota knows this is it. They need to <laughs> go for this or they're going to lose. Because yep. that's all they have. They can't take this out. They can't stop this heavy tank factor. They can't stop these... Oh, the Thunderbird, incidentally, has been recharged. They don't have much chance. And that... I I mean it. They are all or nothing on this one. If some daggers were to go around Everything. the side... Which yeah, they are. Google Frog realizes this. Yep. The the daggers have the, the perfect window to head down and through the south. Thunderbird and Napalm Bomber, no, they get scared away by the slashers. Looks like the, the Thunderbird picked fine. up, picked up on the uh, daggers. Okay, no, never mind. The daggers are going for a flank, but yeah, that's that was good. Still nice mix up though. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Rapiers are not responding, although it looks like they might be going for a counter mix up of their own. Yep. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Heading through the east and then up the east side. Uh, maybe. At this point, the Napalm Bomber could totally go in. That okay? The, there are Thunderbirds going in. The Phoenix needs to follow right after. Bring these guys out. And no, the Rapiers are not going for a counter mix-up. They were just mixed up out of position. Oh, and boy. This, this is still going to be tricky, though. Such a slugfest here. Yeah, but I think Google Frog is probably going to just lose out on this regardless. Yeah, he's going to get overwhelmed here. There's the so... Copperhead's doing a great job, though. Forcing those Rapiers back. Yeah, that's forcing true. Forcing to repair. But now the disarm's over. Where's the next... Where are those Thunderbirds? The next Thunderbird needs to drop. Now, if not sooner. Wow. Although admittedly, being that this is an Akron. <laughs> Incidentally, Golden and Google Frog, I both know because of Akron. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, both of them. So, yeah, it's kind of weird to say, I can't say now if not sooner and actually mean it. <laughs> As in, go back five minutes, or go back three minutes and do it again better. Down goes the commander, though. Yeah, and here the, the rapier death ball over Google Frog's base. Uh, I don't know. I think you could clean it up, really. I don't. I, you know what I'm surprised at? Google Frog went hover, and yeah. hover has flails. <laughs> wow, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. And yeah, yeah. not a single flail. Because flails are an awesome anti-air. Mm. Yeah, also, I wonder why. I'm lack of swifts, but yeah, flails. Sure. When's flails? <laughs> I really did like this Reaper switch, though. I think it was the right call against the slashers. And uh, I agree. It's it. the rapiers. Yeah, they exactly. weren't well handled. Gota did have a good answer for it. And Google Frog throws in the towel, though. That was close. That was very close. Close, yeah. A lot of... A lot of uh, held under pressure. That is mm -hmm. that is the biggest thing. I thought that was a fun game. Yeah. That was oh, yeah. Google Frog accessed about 2,000 just because of that reclaim field to steal sure. it from Gota. <laughs> wow, look at that. Relatively even, though. Look at the production. Wow, wow that production was really close. Oh No, yeah, production was close, but... Google Frog lost almost twice as many units as Golda did. Ah, uh, yeah. Those slashers were really efficient. Yeah, absolutely. I cannot, oh, Critical cannot mass. overrate how efficient they were once they yeah. got going. Oh, the attrition is just excellent. Yeah, and it's not just that. It was also... The Thunderbirds were good, but it didn't seem like the combo quite panned out. Yeah. It was, it was disappointing. It was good at buying them time, but yeah, it felt like it was just missing a second component to follow up behind it. I feel Indeed. like all of his other forces were distracted, basically preventing the flank, you know. 
Yeah, so I gotta, f I gotta know now. What is game two? What is map mm -hmm. two? Mm -hmm. Because map two is up to Google Frog, and knowing Google Frog is gonna be Gummit Catcher. No, ice is ice is Delta. Oh, field of. Oh wait, drone is. Drone, why are you throwing things off? What's going on? No. He's getting a little excited. Google and Gold still have one game. At yeah. least one game. Yep. Which I would very much like to see. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Drone got a little bit overexcited there. <laughs> like, I know you want to play. I know you want to play. I'm glad you want to play. That's good. Just one more game, or possibly two. And then it's your game. Google Frog is just random mapping here. Yeah, they have been actually most of the time. They're trying to, I think, trying to figure out what maps are available and then just going from there. Hmm. Or maybe getting ideas like, oh, maybe I want to play this, maybe I want to play this, maybe I want to play this. But yeah, they don't have any well picked, they don't have any really thought out counter picks. Mm -hmm. Which is a little surprising. Pro tip, do Cooper. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. I think against Gota, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Man, going for Reclaim Wars against Golda? Reclaim Wars in a really micro-oriented map? Yeah, where you're probably no going to base trade and it's just one unit left? <laughs> okay, Altair Crossing, which is about the same, but okay. Yeah. Tons of Reclaim... Nice straight shot between the two bases, right through the center. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so... It, wonder what uh, wonder what Google's thinking of here. What his strategy is heading into this. My guess is just to play it normal. Sure. Like play the map as the map is. Mm. Because what else are you going to do? I mean, that was a close game last time. So it's not mm. like they don't know how to play. Well, right, right. But I think what they want to do is probably just do the same thing of, you know, the weaker player goes for cheese. They are going for Shieldbot Factory. Ooh, I wonder if they're going to go... For, I don't think they're going to go for Dirtbag. See, I mean, if they go for Dirtbag trying to stop their... Trying to stop Golda from building, that would be surprising. Won't I work, think, though. I think he's going to go for a bit more of, a, like, a defensive slow push because last game with he opened felons? up with all of those daggers, right? Yeah. And it, and it didn't really work out for him. Like, maybe it was just a case of the factory matchup, but if I were Google Frog after a game like that... I'd go for a slower, more conservative type of push, and playing Shieldbot is perfect for that. He can use the Reclaim here, set up a secure perimeter, and try and out Eco Gota, maybe. Might be his best strategy. That's, I'm not too sure, though. That might work, yeah, because you're right. The aggressive strategy early on did not quite pan out, mostly because the daggers didn't survive. Mm -hmm. They didn't ball up that early. I think that was the biggest problem. Yeah, I would agree. That and the fact that they were a bit too fo too much the focus against Slashers. Wow, Gota opens sort of up here with the... With a pair of constructors just to get right on this reclaim. Well, both players do. That's how you do it. Yep. Although being that it's jump bot, the dirt bag can't really do much in terms of blocking things out. <laughs> the factory doesn't really have a single point of exit. Still, that's not the point anymore. That hasn't been the point for a year at least. It's just scout it out. Cheap scout. Yeah. That's all the dirt bags are now. Which is fine, yeah. that's all it really should be. Yep, it's a nice one. I like uh, being able to jump over things with this, my favorite part. <laughs> that is handy, I must say. Especially on maps like Ravaged, where that allows you to avoid the ramp. And it's just, wow. you jump in their base. Three constructors, four constructors now from both players. See, I don't know, maybe a, like a bandit rush would have done all right here from Google. Well, we'll see, because bandits are incoming. No, they're not, never mind. They're, they're on defense. Well, Google Frog is timid from the last just game. Just an eco game. Fifth constructor out now from Gota. Wow. And if, I mean, remember, if Google Frog wins this, there's going to be another game left on Golda's choice of map. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be tricky. Although if Google Frog does win it, then it's Google Frog and Drone on winner's finals. Which yep. we haven't seen yet, actually. Yeah. We, yeah, we have. No, we did. We saw it. That was one of the early games, one of the quarterfinals games. It was Drone and Google Frog. But this is kind of why I was saying I didn't mind double a limb on random, is that, well, 
okay, you get finals before finals, but at the same time, those players will probably still be playing in the finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So there is that. But I agree that if you're going to have random seating, you really need the double limb. At least sort double. Of a, a package deal, yeah. I think triple would be a little bit excessive. No one really does triple for anything. Yeah, I've never heard of it. I think like some badminton or tennis players or tennis tournaments do triple, but I'm not totally sure. I'm just blown away by how many constructors are out on the field right now. Like, I know that this is an eco map and mm, usually five build... And five. That's... Oh, actually, so seven. Okay. Thing. Seven's a little bit higher than I expect, but two of them are being used for pushing the factory. I'm counting eight from Goda. You are? Oh, they must have just built one new one. Oh, yeah. There's eight. Oh, Felon coming out from uh, Google Frog now, and then... Ah, now Three this makes sense. Felon convict push. That makes a lot of sense to me. Build yeah. tons of constructors, reclaim with them, get the felon up, and then your constructors become military now. Sort of. Looks like it's going to be, this put, well, is, sort of. It's basically built entirely, I mean, I'm sure you know, it's entirely based on getting lotuses. Lotuses and yeah. or defenders, you want to use, I mean, sure. the, the felon is good, and you want to repair it, and you want to make sure to give it shields, but that felon can only do so much. Like, right, The convicts, unlike, say, but, thugs, can't do anything other than build stack defenses. There's a lot to be said for uh, pork pushing with the constructors when you have a felon to support, though. Mm -hmm. well, the Google Frog has no static energy at all. Oh, wow, he does. He's retiring, <laughs> relying entirely on reclaim. I mean, they're accessing like mad as a result. They're now just pushing that, but still, it's. Oh, look at the sumo coming up from Gota. This could, uh, oh, this could be a good seconds. fight. This is 40 seconds. Oh, my God. This is going to be so close. Four minute end game unit fight. Or not end game, but late game. <laughs> mid, mid late game. You're like Apex factory unit fight. Sure. No, either of these would be good endgame strategies, I think. This is going to be such a cool matchup. Well, this is going to come down to, basically, defenses. If Google Frog builds up defense, or rather, if... If Google Frog... Okay, get the Lotus. Get there rid of the go. workers. If they can get rid of the workers, that will solve Four this defenses. problem. Uh, yep, those workers, they're forced to move over to the other side of the factory. Because those Google workers, doesn't know that this is coming, I don't think. Oh, they now do now. Just the problem Definitely. is the felon can't Ten kill seconds. the sumo. Yeah, he just needs to attack the factory instead. Uh, this is not going to work out too well. Looks like he's actually attacking. Okay, they have the lotuses on on oh, there. Oh boy, here it comes. Newton cannons. Oh, it jumps. Oh, the felon's not dead wow. yet. The felon's out of position. This is not good. That not felon, where it wants uh, to be. Not long for this world, I'm afraid. I don't know. There are there's a half dozen convicts there. They can repair. And the factory is down. Wow. And there's lotuses just ripping apart that sumo. But no, it's oh, dead. There we go. But at the same time, nothing else happens. There was no point in me saying that. So if Google Frog builds a racketeer and he disarms the sumo, can it still jump? I don't think so. I guess I'm not really sure. I'm not. Neither am I. I don't think that's the case, though. Although, I mean, either way, it's going yeah, to be sumo's tricky on to repulse. deal with. Yeah, but there's all these convicts that are basically just setting up lotuses for the purpose of killing things, and shields do block fire as long as they exist. Oh, and looks like uh, the sumo jump in. That's ah, oh, there goes all the convicts. Wow, that sumo jump in. I mean, the factory's dead, yes, but that sumo jump in. And the bandits coming in to try to finish it off. Google Frog, they they're not out yet. They're they're going in. They want to kill this. Wait, did Google Frog? I think Google Frog only has their commander left, and these bandits. That's about it. But when they get rid of Golda's economy, Google Frog has this more stable economy. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've actually gotten stable energy. They've gotten a few power plants here and there, at least. They don't really need reclaim as much. I don't know if... I mean, Golden now is getting stable energy, but they've lost a lot of their metal. Mm -hmm. And they have their sumo, and the sumo isn't repaired. It's getting repaired, but it's 13,000 health. That's that's a lot to repair. And more dirtbags... Oh, whoa. That was such a weird... choice. Such a weird culmination of... Uh of this game so far, like, to have a felon that early fighting a sumo that early. Yeah, but you know, there was felon... No, felon straight sure. up loses to sumo. Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> but, I mean, I just thought it was interesting. There was essentially no conflict the entire game. We saw, like, eight constructors come out first and then felon sumo. Yeah. This is the first real engagement of the game. It's just well, such a wacky game. Well, I can see why Google Frog was going for that, though, just because the felon, yeah. if they had hit the constructors, would have bought enough time to kill the factory, then kill the sumo that way. Mm. And that would have been game. Yeah, Basically, if, if there'd been anything other than a sumo in that factory, that would have been a game ender. Yes. Which is why Gold went for sumo, because 
the yep. fall they had. Even then, though, <laughs> Google Frog just hitting on all sides, not letting up at all. With dirt bags just to just to carry the. I, I don't know. know. Uh, yeah, blocked. I don't know. <laughs> Something. I think it's just to block shots. Yeah, meet shields. We'll yeah, we'll distract the Zuma. Although, admittedly, now there's Shieldbot Factory. This is a good time for them to die. Ah, uh, yep. Perfect. Uh, nestled in there. Yep. Control D it. Control D it. No! The sumo's trying to trying to pull it out. Sumo did successfully pull it out. That's yep. what I meant. Control D. Con you must order it to die. That's a good point. It has to be ordered to die at the right time. Otherwise, it's not going to work. There is a racketeer out here from Google Frog. It's like uh, it's hanging out next to these constructors right yes. outside the base. Which is a good place to be. The sumo is coming along those lines. Yeah, definitely. On the south side, though, there is a pyro, so that's also a good place to have it. Because that pyro will soon not be able to attack as soon as it gets hit. There we go. Bandit's coming in to clean that up. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Nah, not when it's disarmed. And the sumo's out of position, so the racketeer can still get back. All that... All the bandit and pyro... The pyro chased off, but it's too fast. Mm -hmm. It's actually slightly... Yeah, it's, it's twice as fast. No, it's the same speed as bandits. That's exactly the same speed as bandits. Twice as fast when jumping. Ah, rogues against the sumo. Yeah, I think that's uh, probably the perfect call. Yeah, in rogue and outlaw. Racketeer. Outlaw for the bandits and rogues for the outlaws and, yeah, the sumo too. Yeah. You definitely want to deal with heavy units that way. Mm. Unless they're units that have really slow rates of fire, like Reapers, skirmishers tend to be the best way to go. Oh, tons of bandits, though, coming out from good are going to clear up these uh, rogues if they get caught out of position. Has to be really careful with that, but he needs the rogues to handle the sumo, or at least to actually kill it. Yeah. At this point, Gold is basically rebuilt completely. That's kind mm -hmm. of a bit of a shame, because that early felon... I mean, both players have basically gone back to neutral. And the early yeah. felon... It's damage, For it's no longer really relevant. And the rogues aren't going to help against the bandits. Mm -mm. Yeah, for as much chaos there. as there was earlier on in the game, things have uh, really stabilized quite a bit. The economy is pretty much even. I mean, Goda does have the military advantage, but it's all in that sumo, and he can't really use it that well against the racketeer. Yeah, and there's the pyro, of course. The pyro is cornered. Mm -hmm. So that's not much you can be doing about that. What? And Whoa! What? You're kidding me. Look, yes! he's pulling. He's. <laughs> no Newton way. shots. What am I seeing? You're seeing creative use of 0k this, physics. This I'm is actually. Genius. This is, I, look at that. <laughs> what? Well, it's that's an old strategy, the roach. It, no, but the doing it with part, the sumo. Yeah. It's, okay, two things. One, the sumo. And two, not needing your own terraformed ramp to do it. Because yeah, that's using what you the before. Terrain. Wow. That was, I'm so glad I watched this just for that little trick. That was awesome. But yeah, sumos are, they're Newtons on legs. <laughs> really big legs that stomp hard, but they're Newtons on legs now. This is a groundbreaking innovation. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly a more practical way of doing it than Newtons, because Newtons aren't really built all that much because they're static. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure there's stuff that could be done with Newtons that hasn't been discovered, but no one seems interested in discovering it. And unfortunately, however, Google Frog over the south side... Oh, nice shot with a roach! Never mind, I just... Pops up right at the last second. Beautiful defensive roach. Yeah, a little bit tricky to see, but yeah, it's there. Still, all those. Yeah, how many, yeah there's more roaches coming in from Golda. Hitting the center, and the rogues do spot it, but they can't do much about it. Do enough, though. They do enough. Didn't manage to catch it. Yeah. Surprisingly, pushing these rogues away. Okay, now it's attracting them. Bit surprised at that. Like, why was it attracting? It looks like the south side is pretty solidly Gouldas. The center is pretty solidly Google Frogs. And the north side, also pretty solidly Gouldas. Yeah, I'd say Gouda has control of about two-thirds of the map. I would say there's the south side could be flanked out. It's just yeah. there's no firepower to do it with. Yeah. It's the only thing. If yeah, there's exactly. enough firepower, if Google Frog had an economic advantage, but unfortunately they have an economic disadvantage... This battery of rogues, I, I mean, it's, it's pretty scary. If Google Frog can find a way to get these into position, threaten the base more a bit with them. Yeah, but, but can they do so that without bandits. opening themselves yeah. up? The problem is they exactly. do that, the center's open, and the bandits pour through the center, and they're dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, oh. they could try that, and there's enough rogues and enough lotuses that won't work. 
So there's looks, that. Looks like he's going to be trying the felon again. Hmm. They'll work well to clear up the bandits, I think. Yeah, that's what they're for, definitely. The sumo is the only real problem because it's got 13,000 health. Yeah. And missile yes. silo coming in from Golda because oh. just in case. Burn everything out, I suppose. Classic. If all else fails, use fire. Sure. Well, things have been heading uh, towards a bit of a stalemate. I think now that Gota has economic advantage, you might be able to steamroll in the future, but I guess Silo is yeah. probably just a uh, sure shot finisher. But we do have that south side getting pressured away. The band is moving away. That south side getting taken. And the north side is similarly weak, actually. Mm. Like, they're there. Gota kind of has them. had units there. But with the right combination, Google can take it out. The center is the only thing. But because the center has enough lotuses, I think, it's probably not going to be attacked. The sumo, of course, being the only threat, but right into the middle of all these rogues, the felon is the only problem, or the only problem case. If the felon won't work out too well, everything else will be fine. See this racketeer scrambling to catch up to the sumo now. Oh! It's a missile out of the silo, heading towards Google Frog's base, looks like an inferno. Yep. Yes! Right there to the caretakers and the mechs. Ouch. Well, this is probably Google Frog's last army then. Brutal. Gotta make a count. They do have a felon though, they have what they need to get rid of the bandits. They have if he can disarm oh well, trying to disarm the sumo. It's gonna take a while. Getting rid of the commander oh, though. Oh, or almost with these rogues. Definitely a big threat. If he can clean up here, create enough reclaim, and then use that with the constructors that are in position to do so, he might be able yeah. to rebuild and make a comeback, but But there's uh, okay, AO's coming down here, I think. Uh, double AOS, I think. No, double inferno. Oh, never double mind. inferno, but that'll take care of it just as easily. Ouch. And, that's probably and the, the sumo uh, coming in to finish everything off. Swinging yeah, the felon the onto the hill, what the heck? <laughs> okay, getting it out of the way of the convicts, that makes sense. But the racketeers finally stop it! But still, that's way too much, that felon... ...getting its shields burnt out, getting its ammo burnt out, in effect. Mm -hmm. And that finishes it off, I think... Is there anything else that can be done? There's more infernos coming in here. Roaches as well, but this sumo is too strong. Although the felons have a nice position to get rid of these bandits, but even then, the racketeers, they can stop the sumo, but that's not, doesn't matter anymore. Who cares about the sumo? The sumo has been relevant for a while now. Yeah. And another, oh, the Inferno hits mostly Gulda's forces. So many burning bandits as a result of that. Mm. A good position nonetheless. I mean, got rid of the defenses, but still. A lot yeah. of bandits got weakened. I think you could pull back here with the bandits, just be a bit more careful. I mean... Google yeah, Frog no... doesn't really have an answer to the silo, you know, so well, I, I feel like the silo is the game ender. It is. Yeah, there we go. You're exactly right. So now, now we have Golda versus Drone, as wow. Drone had expected. But hey, that, that was, was actually, you know, though, the huh? game. Yeah, that was... I like that. Well, we saw Sumo Roach Cannon. <laughs> that was, if nothing sumo else... Sumo Roach Cannon has been invented. Mark it that... this game. <laughs> That's right, save the date. Game two of the Losers Finals in the March 2015 1v1 tournament... Gorda invented, or at least showed off, the Sumo Roach Cannon. Should be filing the patent shortly. Yeah, so bear in mind, patent pending. By Gorda, probably. I All can't right, claim it. Alright, so uh, that leaves us, what? A Gorda Drone Final? So, and... yeah, Grand Finals need to be advertised in some way. Yeah, beautiful. Excellent.